Dear brothers and sisters, there is a particular statement that goes like this. It is connected with the physics. You know, there are dams, big dams. Yes, dam built across a river or between the mountain. And you know the fact that at that particular point the dam is resisting huge area of water not just one or two liters miles and miles and such as a water is being resisted by this stretch of dam at one particular point so just imagine at one particular point of the river or between the mountain they have selected and by building this dam this dam is resisting huge amount or huge area of water catchment area and that's why once the dam gives way the force and the flow of the water is something you can't imagine deluge and the whole state or whole country can be washed away nothing could be left of that and that's the reason there is a statement made the flow and the power of that flow of water is proportionate to the resistance put up It's a beautiful statement. Flow of water and the power of that flow is proportionate to the resistance put up. Once that resistance is gone, flow is greater. And this is applied to the blessing of God. People have realized that. Flow of God's promises. I will give you peace. I care for you. I will protect you. I am there with you. Whatever. I will forgive you I shall cleanse you thoroughly flow of God's promises flow of God's blessings in any form is proportionate to the resistance I put up what is surrender I remove this resistance today and let there be the flow of his blessing which I never realized before shall we say praise the Lord together praise the Lord yes. some of us resist by not listening If that is the reason, surrender, Lord, let my ears listen to your word. Others don't want to pray. Others don't want to read the word of God. Others may be stuck into their own reason to some bad habit. Therefore, find out what is the resistance I put up. Thereby, the flow is really blocked. And the surrender would mean I remove this block. And thereby, the flow shall be greater and taking control over every area of our life. Shall we raise our hands and praise God together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to a beautiful word from Psalm 81. Are you ready? Yes. Listen to it and see what the Lord is trying to tell us today. It's a beautiful word. First part is a lamentation, second part is actually a promise. And the word of God goes like this. Oh my people, since you would not listen to me that word listen to me should be understood in different ways i as a creator i have a word for you as a creature you would not listen to me marriage or your family was not the design of man it is my design that your family is brought up this way husband and wife therefore when things go wrong I as the one who instituted I as the one who designed it have something to say you would not listen to me you suffered maybe your business failure maybe your relationship failure regarding the failure I have something to say you are sick maybe maybe you went about your own way got sick or maybe some other reason regarding the sickness that is bothering you today I have something to say regarding anything I have something to say Shall we say praise the Lord together? Praise the Lord. You would not listen to me. And the word is very strong. Let it apply to those who are intelligent and thinking in many ways. Since you would not listen to me, I left you to follow your own stubborn ways. And that is a danger. In your family, if anyone is, or everyone is left to their own way, what is family life? In the office, if everyone is left to their own way, what is the office there for? If every driver is at his own way then no use of riding on the I mean no use of driving there there is some sort of a thing in by which everything is brought to in the perfect way 
you would not listen to me therefore i left you to follow your own ways and when i am left in my own way please what happens you are talking a different way when i am left in my own way minus god's word and minus god's concern and care which i want to i should have what happens exactly what happened to the prodigal son please we are not comparing with that but no reality failure accompanied tension accompanied the person loneliness accompanied why do we share this right now for a, it's for a purpose why certain things are not meant to accompany us please let's make it very clear certain things are not meant to accompany us failure is not meant to accompany us they might come but meant to pass away loneliness might come but not meant to stay with you fear might come but is not meant to stay with you frustration might come your human beings but not meant to stay with you that means not meant to accompany you if they are accompanying you even the best of place that means some way i have not started with god again this is not simply a theory please experience of people experience down to the experience of people and that's why people say the moment i began to listen to god's word and surrender the particular failure that i can be stopped the particular loneliness that i can be stopped the particular feeling that i'm frustrated began to stop not so much of your struggle with the prayer okay nothing and that is why exactly the word of god comes to you you would not listen to me and therefore i left you to follow your own ways and the next is a beautiful promise if only you would listen to me how quickly i will subdue your enemies look at the word enemies and when you hear the word enemy some of you might think it as persons no your loneliness is your enemy your critical attitude by which you distress is your enemy your fearful attitude is your own enemy your hopelessness that you feel is your own enemy and therefore your sadness your loneliness discouragement and always you know thinking negatively is your enemy and there is not any other person see the whole word the word of god if only you would listen to me how quickly i will subdue your enemies and i will feed you with the finest of wheat that means i will feed you with something strong you will grow stronger praise the lord shall we say together praise the lord hallelujah let's understand this in detail in a different way i can say i am sick and with that word you could really feel up all the while and what is going to listen to me this particular word i am sick i am sick. i'm just saying an example i am sick i am sick god said no that shall not be the final word controlling you no that should not be the final word controlling you final word is mine as a you would not listen to me and therefore you are stuck with that word that concept i am sick i am sick i am sick i'm just giving a simple example you would not listen to me and when you listen to me what i have to say by my wounds you are healed and i have healed the people i am the same yesterday today tomorrow and they by over the feeling that you are sick my word will take control over and you are comforted praise the lord together praise the lord hallelujah any patient before the doctor is not comforted because the patient holds on to his pain rather doctor, don't worry this pain will be over the five minutes i'll give the medicine it is upon that word you are relieved final word is not yours if i say i my future plan is really or gone wrong and therefore i don't know what about the future she said, no that is not the final word i have a plan for your future seek me i will let you find me i will reveal to you great and hidden things about your life if only you would listen to me i will subdue your enemy any of frustration i have nobody no i am with you i am not talented no i will give you my holy spirit you shall become powerful i if only you would listen to me i will subdue the enemy of frustration in you i will subdue the enemy of fear in you and that's why we listen not because you know there is no other way not because there is no other go rather we open to the wonderful ways god can do in our life shall we raise our hands and praise god together hallelujah together hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord let's repeat that word of god together to ourselves oh lord i declare your word oh my people since you would not listen to me i left you to follow 
your own seven ways. If only you would listen to me, how quickly I will subdue your enemies and I will feed you with the finest of wheat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that is a sarna that we shall make. Let's come to know something very practical. Dear brothers and sisters, what does this mean? As he said, it is not any other calculation. In simple terms, when you say yes to the Lord, God invites you to prove that you belong to me. That's all. More than any prayer, more than anything, please remember, prove to me that you belong to me. That's all. Why? There are certain feelings, there are certain thoughts, there are certain analysis, there are certain concepts that does not belong to me, he said to work in you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As long as they are there, the particular power connected with that will take control over you. May I just explain that in a simple way. Some of us may know it very well. I may be praying every day. I can do wonders maybe. Imagine there is jealousy in me. See the holy fact. You may not know. You may not know the jealousy inside my heart. What happens? There's a problem there. Jealousy does not belong to God. Why God is love, love is not jealous. And what happens? Power of evil. You don't have to be under any spell. No one has to be under any witchcraft. Please remember. The power of evil connected with that feeling will become part of you. Because jealousy does not belong to God, it belongs to the power of evil. And therefore, the moment I stay in, in that feeling, what happens? Power of evil will take control of me. And this is the I pray, nothing happening, this is not happening, this is because of that. Somewhere, some part does not belong to God. We know how to explain that, but it's a fact. So, so people say, no, I pray, I am very just, you may be very just, but there could be a certain attitude that belongs to the evil one. And thereby he will take control over. Please, this is not a theory, this is experience of people. May I just use a simple example again. Imagine I go to a doctor and I showed my hand from the middle finger up to my shoulder. Imagine, long apart. I spent three hours for medication. And I was very patient. And I sat there, though it was paining, I showed my hand and three hours it took. The doctor bandaged it very well. I can say three hours, I spend. who will do that? I just spent three hours with the doctor and you know, doctor bandaged it very well. Fantastic, very good. Remember, one small portion as big as a pinhole, a pinprick hole. Compared to the whole hand, what is that? Nothing. Compared to the portion of the hand from middle finger up to the shoulder, this pinprick hole under the ambit is nothing. Insignificant, yes. And imagine, I don't want to show that. I kept it for myself. One reason or the other. And someone asked me, you know, so, no, no, why should I show it? That's something very silly. You know, whole only. You know, as big as a pin, but just a pin. And I showed so much. Wonderful. But remember, though I claim I showed so much and so much of medication was done, yet the fact, we are not worried about thinking, the fact, it could be very well during the day, or as the days go by, it could be through this small pin prick hole, infection can set into my body and I can be destroyed. No use of saying, oh, okay, so much of hand was medicated. And this effect of the power of evil. And that's why surrender would mean I belong to God and no area is left for his dominion. And thereby we come under the protection and guidance of God. Shall we raise our hands and praise God together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep our hands raised up. And that's why we shall know the areas I refuse to surrender and I do not surrender come under the dominion of the power of the evil one. And our concern now, let me come under the power of God. And that is the surrender that I make today. Shall we say praise the Lord together? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters, therefore, let this be a moment more than anything else 
whatever your conscience will tell you something that does not belong to god's reason and god's concept and godly idea that is what we shall surrender be ready for that don't resist don't resist because flow of god's power is proportional resistance you put up give him the resistance and let god's blessings flow shall we say praise the lord once again together praise the lord hallelujah in case or i don't say in case in the past experience highly intellectual people highly qualified people you know they sit there and you know they have their own way and resist so much why finally we come to know there is no promise of god of which they are away when they surrender they are only aware of what is happening around them and please may i put that word for a time being so that the surrender becomes easy surrender for some of us to give up something that is negative and bad or what is that becomes very difficult and very painful all the rest people do that why the heart is not before a promise of god when it is before a promise of god the whole surrender becomes so easy and comfortable and whenever there is something tough or demanding god always place a promise before you and that is also something very wonderful shall we say praise the lord together praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah regarding forgiveness there is a promise there regarding surrender there is a promise there regarding confession there is a promise there so whatever that makes it so difficult to confess is not easy you are ready to defend to forgive is not easy very difficult so whatever becomes very tough before that god place a promise so that the whole thing becomes easier may i just explain that the example could be quite silly if father director comes and tells all of you all of you come for the retreat this week now do something very urgently right now each one of you stack up some 30 or 35 chairs and put it on your head all of them together walk up to the vinson hall arrange them and you will see the excuses coming you know doctor told me not to carry heavy weight and not to touch plastic you know i am pregnant therefore not to carry any weight on either side and soon after bath i am not supposed to touch it you know why i can do something a lot of excuses will come imagine the same thing comes to you in a different way all of you compulsorily stack up 25 or 30 chairs and put in your head and take it home you will see the difference absolutely no excuses you will be the first one to hurry up the one who refused earlier will also hurry up it's a fact therefore please perhaps in the past up to this day maybe including me and you we are not aware of certain promises sure we are just stuck with some catechism we are taught earlier some experience that's all you have not yet come to know the mighty promise of god meant to work i don't say promise this in here mighty promise of god meant to work we have not yet come to know and since i have not yet come to know we don't surrender and that's why let's know some promises right now if you cling to me in love what is statement if you cling to me in love that means you attach yourself to me and not to any powers of evil any form by the thing you are feeling what not see the promise i will protect you people have experienced wherever they go some protection they experience in business in transaction in certain you know partnership that try to cheat them some of they become safe in the worst of times even these people slip away the bible says you shall slip away from the wiles of the enemy i don't have to explain that you know imagine everyone is against you but somehow you slip away from their plans which human intelligence will fail people have experienced it you shall slip away from the wiles of the enemy plans of the enemy not because you are very powerful god makes you slip away and there may be lot of accusation somehow you will slip away maybe everyone is against you but you will slip away why not because of power if you cling to me in love i will protect you one second one i will answer you when you call to me prayer will be answered i will be with you in times of your trouble and the next i shall deliver you from your bondages could be evil bondages maybe certain habits dangerous and destructive for the family and for yourself and the final one i will satisfy you with the peace and joy that is lasting shall we say praise the lord praise the lord all the praise can be summed up into this i will protect you i will be with you if god is with me why should i fear i will deliver you 
I will answer you when you call to me. I will satisfy you with the peace and joy that is lasting. And this is the promise when you surrender. If you cling to me in love, shall you raise our hands? Dear brothers and sisters, this praising we do is a sign of the acceptance of this word. And that shall be our surrender. God places a promise before you very clearly, affecting the family, relationship, your profession, all your transactions, all your dealings. And that's why the Lord is telling us, you surrender. Listen to my word. If you listen to my word, how quickly I will subdue your enemies. Let us praise God together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We share these things in general only. Whatever that the Lord gives in your conscience regarding everything, your friendship, your culture, habitual way, habitual way, you release your tension in the wrong place, wrong objects, certain relationships, certain reading habits. It is not because of your holy holy, not that way. Let's know the effect. Whatever in my conscience the Lord reveals to me, it does not belong to God's reason. Let me write that and surrender. No other prayer. Lord, I surrender. And in that, let the Lord take control over us. We belong to God. Shall we raise our hands and praise God together? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us all stand up, dear brothers and sisters. Pray that the Lord may give us a spirit of surrender and not of resistance. The Lord places His promises before us and His plan before us. In surrender, I allow His plan to be established. Plan for peace, plan for joy, success, strength, solution, peace, justice, deliverance and protection as the Word of God reveals. Let his plan be established in all of us. Let's welcome the presence of Jesus.